So I got this pump here. My company sent it to me to uh, to do a test on it. So I'm going to go ahead and review it for anybody who's curious about it. This pump is made by a company called Viver. Uh, it is a three-wire pump, which is not typical to what I normally use. I normally use two-wire pumps if you've watched any of my other videos. Uh, this is a three-wire pump. It's actually a one-and-a-half horsepower, all stainless steel. Comes with a brass head on it. Has a built-in built in check valve inside of there, which is kind of cool. Some of the other pumps that I've tested in the past that came from Amazon did not have a built-in check valve. And like some of the other ones, uh, this actually comes with 131 feet of wire. Now, it's kind of pretty self-explanatory if you read the instructions. Uh, you basically just run these wires into this control box and you follow the instructions as to where to hook them up and it's pretty plain and simple. Then you're just gonna plug your plug into any 115 volt outlet and then turn it on and it'll go to running. Okay, so I've got the box all wired up. I'm gonna go ahead now, I'm gonna put the cover back on it, put the screws in it, and we're gonna go ahead and plug this thing in and we're gonna uh, do a flow test, do an amp test, do a voltage test, and make sure that this thing runs to the specifications that they say it will online. Make sure it's off. Plug that in. Okay. On. This thing really gets with it, doesn't it? Yeah, show a little push. A little push. That is definitely 24 gallon a minute well pump right there. Uh, definitely a good, good flow. That's pretty impressive. It does a really good job. Yeah, it's very quiet. All right, I'm gonna go get my amp meter and we're gonna test some amps. And we'll check the pressure up here okay. shortly. Now, for anybody wondering, if you wanted to hook this system up to a pressure switch, essentially what you would do is you would cut this end off here and you would strip this out and then your two hot leads, uh, the wires would go to the pressure switch and then you would have two other wires that would then in turn go to your breaker panel. So basically your pressure switch is what supplies power. In this situation, this plug supplies power. Okay, so test number one, we have it in the test tank. Now we're gonna go ahead and check amp draw. Since this is a 115 volt pump and we are testing amps, I am expecting to see somewhere between 12 to 13 amps. That's typically what a 115 volt well pump runs. Right on the money. Pulls right at 12. Perfect. It runs great. That's spectacular. So the specifications for this pump is 115 or 110 volt, 1.5 horsepower, and it will provide basically 40 liters per minute at 79 meters, 80 liters per minute at 68 meters, and 120 liters per minute at 45 meters. So yeah, you do the calculations to get gallons per minute. <laughs> so for 150 bucks, roughly 150 bucks, this Viva well pump has a 30 day free return policy, a 12 month warranty, Typically, it ships out within 24 hours of when you order it, and it takes two to six business days to get to your house. Uh, if you want a discount, if you would like to order this uh, well pump from Viver, just use coupon code VVKIT5OFF for 5% off your order. All right, time for test number two. We're going to turn it back on. We're going to always leave our amp meter on just in case. Still pulling roughly around 11 and a half to 12 amps. 
So now we're going to start cracking the valve and we're going to read what pressure we get. Wow, that's pretty impressive. All right, go ahead and open it back up. So it went to about 100 and what? Yeah, it was a little over 120. It was like, like 122. One. So we get 100, 120 to 122, 124 PSI, somewhere around there. So you need about a half a pound for every foot of head. So that means every one PSI is gonna lift two feet. So because this will reach up to 120 PSI, that means this pump is capable of pumping from 240 feet. Now they, they said that the pump could go to 390 or something like that, but I wouldn't recommend putting it that deep. Right here, the gauge shows you 120. So realistically, 240 feet is about your maximum working depth. Now, they provide you with 130 feet of number 16 wire, but if you understand the calculation of voltage drop, you can't use number 16 wire to go to 300 feet. So essentially, you would have to cut the leads off of the pump and then up your wire size to about a number 10. That way, you could get the distance out of the larger wire so you wouldn't worry about burning up the pump due to voltage drop. So this kit basically provides you with a large high flow well pump with 130 foot of wire for around 150 bucks, which is kind of impressive for, for what you get here. Um, um, it's actually really made of quality stuff. It's got brass head and all stainless steel outside. It's pretty cool. So I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go get the generator and I'm going to wheel the generator outside and I'm going to see if this pump will actually run on a 3000 watt generator. Our, uh, our amp draw test showed that it was only running between 10, 11, 12 amps. So theoretically, this should feed it. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure it's off. It's off. I'm gonna plug it in. All right. We're gonna turn it on and we'll see if the generator dies. Oh man, she's running great. Now let's go inside, make sure she's working. That's amazing. That's amazing it's running as great as it is on a 3,000 watt generator. Yeah, that's typical house pressure, 60 PSI. And you're still getting, I would estimate that at around 13 to 15 gallons per minute. Yeah, so let's go ahead and put a load at a hundred. Keep it right at a hundred. There you go. That's perfect. So even at a hundred psi of head pressure, we're still getting really, really good flow out of that. So that's probably. I'm gonna say if I were filling up a five-gallon bucket, I could do it in about 30 seconds or less. So I'm gonna say that's still around 10 to 12 gallons per minute that we're flowing through that head so at 100 psi that would be equivalent of 200 feet deep in the well if the water level was at 200 feet and this pump is still giving us high volumes of water so incredibly efficient pump in and it's amazing that the motor on the bottom is capable of running off of a 110 volt 3000 watt generator that is impressive that thing flows amazing. It did really good. This is far better than the Hallmark pump. Far better. It's a great pump to buy on a budget. So that would be the equivalent of 240 feet in the well and we've cut back the flow to about four or five gallons per minute. So 
So max usable depth would be around 250 feet. And if you did install this pump at 250 feet, you have to up the wire size to something larger. Go ahead and turn it off. So, what are my thoughts? Honestly, my thoughts are pretty good. Uh, if I would rate this for a budget pump, it would be, I'd give it about a 9 out of a 10. So, you know, it's pretty up there as far as a $150 pump is concerned. Um, do I believe it is truly a one and a half horsepower? I don't really know. Uh, they stamp it as a horse and a half, but it pulls amps like it's, you know, a, a half horsepower or three quarter. Um, so I don't really don't know what the equivalent is or how they say that it's a horse and a half. Um, but yeah, it is, uh, it is a really good pump for the money that you spend on it. Did it really get warm? Slightly. Let's feel it. Feel it over here. Oh yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah, the wire did get warm. So I was checking that. I would definitely uh recommend upping the wire size because it's only 16 gauge and 16 gauge is awfully small to be feeding uh such a large electric motor. So if you're going to install this in a well, I would take you about four or five feet of the wire here and I would cut it and then strip it back and then go to the hardware store and get you some number 10 or some number 12 submersible pump wire and get you a, uh, a wire splice kit and splice your wire and up your wire size. Because most well pumps are, even, even big well pumps like this one, most of them are 14 gauge wire coming off the pump. But as soon as you leave the pump, you're gonna up your wire size to something larger. So it doesn't really matter. You need larger wire for a long distance. And for 130 feet here, it's kind of pushing the limits of number 16. I... So if we come down here to the warning label and we read right here, if pump is far away from power supply, wires must be thicker to avoid lower voltage that is exactly what i was talking about with the number 16 wire so they already put it on a warning label on the side of the pump well i hope you all enjoyed today's well pump review i am thoroughly impressed by it honestly for a 150 dollar pump it kind of blew my mind so if you're interested please check the description box below all the information for this well pump and a coupon code will be listed below and if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and please give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.